Hello guys, today I'm going to explain about the role of in-law agents and then similarities and differences between EA and CPA. So here we go. Okay, so what is the role of in-law agent? An EA is all about working with tax. Among numerous tax offices throughout the states, most of them are operated by CPA or EA. Um, generally speaking, the CPAs takes at least one to two years to pass the exam, and about 95% of them open their offices to preparing tax returns for individuals and business entities. On the other hand, the EA exam generally can be passed in three to six months, and the EA can be operate the same preparing tax return work as a CPA. Thus, it can be said that getting an EA certificate would be more practical within a short period of time. The preparing tax services can help individuals or business develop their financial plans or economic activities. In particular, if they are subject to, to an IRS tax audits, they can take all measures including filing a lawsuit against the tax court on behalf of taxpayers. In order to provide the most accurate and earliest tax information, the EA must complete the continuing professional education, also known as CPE training, every year after passing the exam. Since the IRS defines only three experts as EA and CPA and attorney, EA have the same authority as CPA and attorney in the tax area. So let's find the differences between EA and CPA. First, the EA exam is administered by the Internal Revenue Service, which is IRS. So EA certificates are federally authorized by the U.S. government. This means that tax office can be opened in any state in the United States. On the other hand, the CPA tests are administered by a private institution called AICPA. So after the final year of sentence, each state shall be applied for a license after meeting the condition required by the states. So if you want to move to California after you acquire a CPA license in New York, you will have to reacquire a California state's CPA license. And secondly, anyone can take the EA exam because there are no special qualification and or requirements. On the other hand, emerging CPAs should graduate from their college, university with bachelor's degrees in accounting or business. Additionally, they should meet the required credits and hour to take the exam. Therefore, it can be said that the accessibility of the EA exam is much easier than CPA exam. As I mentioned earlier, the EA is all about tax. However, in the case of CPA, they gain expertise in accounting matters such as financial planning and auditing which they are given only to the CPA. Um, to be more specific, since EA is a tax expert that has no limitation of age and background education, you can just start studying without bachelor's degree. If you want to work in accounting or audit, you need to, CPA, you need to study CPA, but if you want to work in tax, EA is the same authority if sufficient. So efficient. You have to choose which certificates you should study depending on your interest, but if it's just tax, it is your chance to study EA. Thank you so much.